everyone. Um, we're excited to be here with you all today. My name is Dr. Lacey Carmen Johnson. I am the manager for basketball advancement with the Toronto Raptors, um, where I get to oversee and manage all things off-court player development. So what does that mean? Um, I handle everything that doesn't have to do with shooting the ball, dribbling it, putting it in the basket, all of that good things. But today I also have two very special guests with me joining, and I have Jeff and I have OG. Um, my name is Jeff Downey Jr. Um, it's actually my first year with the Toronto Raptors. Um, I'm from the D.C. area, and I'm glad to be here. My name is O.G. Aranobi. This is my sixth year of the Raptors. I grew up in Jefferson City, Missouri, and I'm so excited to be here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get right on into our questions today. And the, the first thing that we want to talk about is just the word empowerment. So what does empowerment mean to you, OG? Um, in my eyes, empowerment means authority or power given to someone to do something. OK, so kind of pushing them, giving them that extra nudge. Yeah, just you know, putting them in the position to do something and giving them the confidence to feel free enough that they should do something. Jeff, I want to ask you just a little bit about your experience with social justice in school, um, whether that's in the high school or um, at the college level. Um, what, what was that like for you? Um, yeah, I, I think for me and just everybody else in the world, everybody has to go through, um, you know, a point in your life where you might think you're not being treated, you know, fairly or as equally as somebody else. And, um, and I think that's kind of tough because, you know, in the world, uh, you kind of want everybody to be treated, you know, equally and just be treated as one, as a, as a human being. So I think, you know, just for me, you know, just growing up in the D.C. area, just kind of, you know, pushing through that social injustice in a sense and kind of see yourself as equal to everybody else and just kind of see as everybody just like a one big happy family in a sense. Crazy. So you bring up a lot of good points just with um, the equity and the equality and being able to see people for how they are. And so we, I want to kind of move a little bit further, a little deeper into the thoughts of how social unrest, um, social justice, social injustice has really progressed over the last couple of years. We know we've all kind of experienced it. We've seen it in different um, ways. And um, I'm just curious, OG, like what are your thoughts with this current landscape of students? You know, how can they show up and support these types of initiatives and or build these initiatives <clears throat> in themselves? Um, just mainly by doing their part, treating everyone with respect, um, not loving each other because that's not realistic, but liking everyone, just being nice to everyone and just treating others as they'd like to be treated. Yeah, it's uh, free 99 to be kind. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, and so I, we're all big sports fans, we're all big sports people here, and I think we also understand like the importance of just being a good teammate. So what are your thoughts on being a good teammate, being a good ally, um, and supporting one another? Jeff? Um, you know, just being a friend for, you know, one another, um, you know, just looking out for each other, you know, just being respectful of, you know, everybody that within the team, you, you know, you work collectively, you know, as a group. So just, you know, leaning on one another, you know, just caring for one another and just all in all, just being a nice person. Yes, being a nice person. That's kind of the thing for today. Both OG and Jeff have mentioned that. And um, as we just kind of continue to progress and we want to continue to empower you to be nice, to be kind, to be gentle, um, and to support one another. I hear we have a special gift for our Huddle Up schools this holiday season. Each school will receive a donation of books by black authors and supporting curriculum resources. We are so excited to team up with the Toronto Raptors to empower students through literacy. The Indigo Love of Reading Foundation truly believes that a book can change a child's life. It can lead to a lifelong love of reading and educational success. That's why, as part of our commitment to empowering youth through literacy, the Indigo Love of Reading Foundation is donating $25,000 worth of books. 